For those interested in playing around with ink mixing, are there any huge no-nos to be aware of? I really could do a whole like fountain pen 101 thing on ink mixing. I've never done it, just haven't been able to get my act together on that, but I don't do a lot of ink mixing. I've I got I got kind of into it a little bit for a while years ago and haven't really messed with it much. There's a lot of people that know a lot more about it. I will say that FPN has a special sub forum under their Inky Thoughts um, about, it's called Inky Recipes. So you can go there and you can check out all kinds of recipes and formulas and all kinds of great resources about ink mixing. That is honestly like the best go-to that I can give you about ink mixing in general. However, some, some just kind of general tips guidelines. Whenever you're mixing ink, you want to do it in small batches. You want to try to be as precise as you can so you can't go too small. You can't go to like half a milliliter because that's tough to measure unless you have like a you know, scientific whatever they're called. Uh, what did you use them in like biology class and stuff? Like the pipe, pipettes, pipetters or whatever. You know what I mean? Like the little click things and you know, you like do the thing. I don't know. That, that was years ago before I've, <laughs> since I've used one of those. But um, anyway, so you, you can use an ink syringe. If you do it like by the milliliter or by the two or three milliliters, it gets a little bit easier. So you can just mix it in like a sample vial. You know, sample vials will hold seven milliliters easily. You can mix two milliliters at a time. Then the ratio is pretty easy if you're going by the milliliter. You can do like two milliliters of one ink to one milliliter of another, and you can get kind of ratios and stuff. Getting any smaller than that gets kind of tough to measure precisely. But the key would be to mix it in small batches, okay? You don't want to take like, oh, I'll just take these two bottles of ink and blah, mix them together. Oh, that color looks terrible. Now I have two bottles that I've wasted. You know, you want to use them in small amounts, obviously. Um, mix them separately and then let them sit for several hours before putting it in your pen. Sometimes you get weird reactions, especially when you're crossing brands and you have properties you're not really sure of, any type of permanent inks and stuff like that. You never really know kind of what you're getting into. So it's always good to keep it separate, let it sit there for a while and just see if it like turns to gel or foams up or what it does any kind of weird thing. You know, you have to be a little bit kind of adventurous um, when you're de dealing with ink mixing. So be prepared for that kind of stuff. So be a little, little intentional about it. Um, and then don't mix base state inks with non-base state inks. That is kind of the last um, little bit that I have there.